Hello, so in today's video, we're going to look at calculating the area of a sector of a circle in radians rather than degrees. So, I mean, the process is exactly the same. Um, I mean, to work out the area of a sector in degrees, um, it's your angle X that you've got in your sector divided by 360 out of the total 360 uh, degrees in a circle. And then you want to times that by pi r squared. Uh, so your radius the uh, squared times by pi times by this proportion. And that would be your area of your sector. So, I mean, when we go to radians, it's exactly the same process. So the area of a sector is the angle in your sector. So the angle x radians divided by the number of radians in a circle. So remember, we've got pi radians is 180 degrees. So pi uh, radians uh, so pi rad equals 180 degrees. So that means that 2 pi radians um, is equal to 360 degrees. So we've got x radians out of 360 radians. Uh, sorry, uh, 2 pi radians, my bad. Uh, 2 pi radians. And then we're going to times that by pi r squared, the area of our circle. So the radius there, radius there, pi r squared uh, times by pi. So yeah, we get x over 2 pi, without writing the units there, uh, x over 2 pi times by pi r squared. And now the pi's actually just cancel out. So the pi's just cancel out. And so you're left with x over 2 r squared, uh, which you can just say is a half x times r squared. So basically, the area of a sector when you deal with radians is just half times the angle times by the radius squared. So in general, then, if you've got, again, a circle with an angle of theta, so let's say an angle of theta, the area of the sector in radians, that's going to be equal to theta over 2 times by r squared. So a half theta r squared is the area of a sector in radians. Um, and that's, again, because the pi's cancel out when you deal with radians. Um, so yeah, that's your formula that you can use to work out areas of sectors. So if that was uh, that theta there, let's just say it was um, pi over four. So your area of your circle would be, uh, sorry, area of your sector would be pi over four divided by uh, four. So I'll just do like an example here. So if that was pi over four, uh, area would be pi over four uh, divided by two. So a half of that, so I'll just times it by half and then times by the radius squared, whatever that may be. Just call that r. So you're going to get with this example pi over eight times by your radius squared, and that's how you can work out the area of your sector. So yeah, that's how it, uh, where the formula comes from, and you just need to know that area of sector in radians is a half theta times r squared.